Guys, welcome back. It's me. Today I'm going to be showing you a really small trick on how you can use a calculator as a scoreboard. So, first, if you're using two teams, what you'd want to do is go to mode setup right over here and click on the second option. After that, you just want to click on the third option over here and you get two teams. Now, let's say on the first round, X got one point. So, you give X one point. And then on that round, X, Y gets zero points. Let's say if you want to give Y one point on the second round because, you know, it got it. And then, so you give it one point. And on the second round, X got zero point. And then so on and so forth. Now, let's say you have three teams. So what you'd want to do is first, of course, clear everything. Then you just want to go to mode setup again. But instead of clicking the second option, you want to keep, click the third option over here. And then click on the second options. You get three teams A, B, and C as you can see. And then you can just do the same thing as you did on the first two teams. Just press, give it one point, you know, teams on three rounds. Let's say you have more than three rounds. Then what I'd prefer is using the number one as a tally mark. Just give, like, you can see here. I gave three, um, and actually I found out that if you, you can use it for more than three teams as well it just keeps on going so um, I'm not sure if it keeps on going though yeah it's for four actually A, B, C and D and then you can continue it next on A so it's four teams, I was mistaken, not three teams and if you want more, th uh, as I said um, if you can use tally marks which would be really ha helpful and you can also change the score if you want to if you made a mistake and yeah so that's about it just this was this small trick that i wanted to share with you guys if you liked it please leave a, a thumb thumbs up down below subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more see ya